Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gemma Wellness. Today's tip comes to you from Jody. Last night we had a discussion about um, abs and working out and, and you know the good exercises, the better exercises. So some of the things that as she's trained with other trainers or seen other people doing, she's like, well, why in the hell didn't anybody tell me that? Well, because most of the trainers don't know and don't have good abs. Well, some trainers do. I shouldn't say that. But at any rate, a lot, especially a lot of guy trainers will have you doing the, um, like, the side bends. If, if you don't want, like, huge you know, obliques, don't do those. Don't do side bends. Don't do side bends. I see, I every time I see women doing side bends, I kind of tell them, show them. Now, like with me, like some of you have seen my abs where they, I'm not being arrogant, I'm just showing where you've got this stuff going here, right? So a lot of women don't want that. And how I got that was because I was doing side bends with weight and stuff like that. So anytime you do any muscle group with weights, what's going to happen with your muscles? They're going to get bigger, stronger. If you use more weight, they're going to get bigger, stronger. So, you know, bicep curls, I mean, you know, if you sit there and, and do bicep curls or whatever, your, your, your bicep gets bigger. I mean, you know, obviously if you're eating, I mean, there's more, more to it than that, but you know, just on the general term. Um, so, you know, a lot of times, you know, people say, oh, well, I, I like doing the machine that has the, the ab machine that has all the weights and you're pulling like a lot of weight or they'll get on the cable things, get down on their knees, get the rope and, and do it like a lot of weight. If you don't want your ab wall to be protruding out like, like a bicep muscle or a tricep muscle, you know, if you don't want, if you want flat abs, don't use weights with your abs. Don't. Don't do the side bends, ladies, if you don't want those, you know, the, those oblique things that come down there. A lot of guys have them, you know, and, and a lot of that, too, is, is really, truly lessening your body fat. Like, I have very low body fat, so I have those, but, you know, I developed those obliques years ago from doing the side bends. I do them here and there every now and then because I personally, I personally like that. That, for me, I personally like. A lot of women don't like that. A lot of women just want the flat. They want the hourglass you know kind of thing so you know if you want the hourglass and you don't want those big side oblique things don't do side bends there's so many different ways of working your abs um, you know if you want to learn more about different ab exercises you know come in see me I, we can do a consultation we can do a training session I can do you know even just a half hour training session on abs whatever whatever but Abs number one is made in the kitchen. Nutrition is 85% of getting those flat abs. Everybody has the ab wall, the ab muscles, it's just the fat layers that are on top of that. However, to work your abs and to get them not to protrude out to get them flat is doing them in more, um, you know, flat areas. So, you know, like on the ball. Um, you know where your ab wall is is stretched out doing them flat on the floor you know I always have people um, laying flat down on the floor not not with their knees bent or anything but flat and then doing crunches where their ab wall is flat not balled up I don't like when people do you know the the ab crunches where you're lifting your knee to your chest and your chest to your knee it kind of gives a bulge to to your stomach and so my thing is train them the way you want them. So if you want them flat, train them in the flat positions, you know, on the decline bench. So, you know, I showed Jody some of those, some of those tricks yesterday. And, um, you know, so there's a lot more to just working your abs and watching other people doing their abs. And, you know, what works for other people may not work for, for you. And, you know, you see people doing those side bends half the time they're doing the side bends because they see someone else doing it and half the time the women are doing it because they see men training them with with those side bends I will never train a female with a side bend if guys want those you know huge obliques or whatever I'll train guys with the side bends with the weights and stuff like that um, you know but there's different ways and different things as you person 
wanting a trainer, you know, that, that you should want that trainer to, to know what you want and not give you what they want. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, that's a misconception about a lot of, a lot of people training over the years with me. They thought, oh, I don't want to train with her because she's going to make me look just like her. No, that's not everybody's goal. I train you the way you're, you want your goal to be. Whatever goals you want, that's what I want to give you. So, you know, and I have, you know, in the past, well, how come you're not giving me the side bends? And I tell them, like, oh, whoa, thank you. You know, the guy trainer I had or the other trainer that I had always had me doing side bends, and I always wondered why I was a little bigger in the waist. Well, that's why, because you're building, it's a muscle. So if you're using weights with those muscles, they're going to protrude out. And again, I apologize, I'm not just I'm generalizing, I'm not, or I, 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 I apologize if I feel like I'm, if you feel like I'm stereotyping about guy trainers, it's just in my past that I've seen in gyms. Not all guy trainers are like that, I promise. Um, you, you know, but I'm just saying, just from my background that I've seen in gyms. So, but don't train, if you want those flat abs, don't train them in, in bulked, crunched, areas like that. Train them flat. Train them the way you want them to be. You want them to be flat. Train them in flat um, in flat functions, I guess you'd say. And ladies, don't do the side bends because you're going to get those, those oblique things, possibly could, and that's not what you want. So, hope that helps with some ab tips. Again, you want more, you want, you know, like a, a good half hour training session on abs, come see me. I will give you some good exercises that will work. But again, nutrition is 85% of how you get those abs flat. I mean, um, popping out, getting the, the, the fat away from those ab walls. Because the, the ab muscles are already there. You just got to get the refrigerator door off of them or whatever. Some people say that. Um, so let me know, give me some comments, tell me how it's worked for you. Try out some flat ab exercises and then, um, you know, let me know how that worked for you and how different it feels. Last night, Jody was like, oh wow, now I feel it. I feel the burn, I feel it differently. So there is a technique in getting those abs stronger, but nutrition again is the main key on how to get the ab walls to pop out and get the fat layers gone. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.